Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Defect Sturdy Bottle for today's second video. It is our Tuesday 30-day uh, look here for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. Uh, we will extend out to uh, weeks 5 and 6 with this as well. It's primarily like a month head forecast, a 30-day or 4-week forecast, but we will have a look at weeks 5 and 6 dates as well, uh, which takes us to the end of January because, well, why not? Uh, so I'll get on that for you in a second. Just say that first video they say was our 7 a.m. upload. Um, we're going to have another Christmas update for you. Update number 23 uh, for Christmas will be coming up as well today. And along with that 10 to 14 day. So loads going on at the channel. One of those crazy days where we're doing, um, you know, video after video. Please like, share, subscribe on the vids. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECMDF.int for supplying us uh, with these charts. There will be no ECMDF 30 day look ahead for the UK and Europe next uh, Tuesday. We'll be in the middle of a Christmas break, and uh, I'll be scaling things down a little bit uh, over over Christmas. So it will still be updates. It will still be like a 10 to 14 day video release, uh, you know, but but I'm going to scale back a lot of the extra stuff um, just over Christmas, and then uh, it'll be back, you know, into the uh, new year. Right, okay, thanks so much, everybody, for uh, tuning in, and uh, we'll get on with the video then. Uh, so we're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. This is taking us through the current week. So this is for uh, 20th, 27th of December. The main uh, talking point is a big blocking area of high pressure that's around Greenland, Iceland, extending towards Scandinavia. With lots of low pressure underneath it across northern, central, western and eastern parts of Europe. That is a ridge over here in the southeast of Europe. That's going to try and bring warm air up. From Africa, but generally most parts of Europe are looking quite cold with this trough of low pressure and the jet stream running in from the south. The 500 millibar height anomaly sums it all up very nicely. Again, blocking area of high pressure up here, and they've got lots of low pressure around here and down there. Jet stream is pushed down there as well, and winds are coming in there for across many northern parts of Europe anyway, uh, from the north. So it's a cold week across most of northern Europe in the weekend. Um, these are our temperature anomalies uh, for this week. We see that the core of the cold is through Scandinavia, northeastern Europe, and uh, northwestern Russia. Some areas there are going down to around 10 degrees uh, below average. Also, it's eastern. Uh, east side of Europe looks a little bit on the cold side. Central parts of the Mediterranean looking generally mild, as is parts of the Balkans, and particularly mild, actually quite warm through Spain and also into Portugal as well. Into western parts of Europe, we see southern France looking mild, and northern France average. Ireland also is quite uh, mild, although many parts of the UK, especially the northern half, looking quite cold. Um, the low countries, let's get rid of that, the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, uh, cold and average, most of Germany, colder than average, Poland, cold and average, Ukraine, colder than average, and then we go further north, Latvia, Estonia, Belarus, uh, those countries are very, very cold, as is most parts of Scandinavia, including Denmark, and into the north west of Russia as well. Mediterranean-wise, a little bit cooler in the east, most central and western parts, so from Italy back to Portugal, looking milder than average. And the precipitation anomaly looks like that. So uh, where it's cold, it's also rather dry, although any precipitation that does fall will be falling as snow. So up here across northern Europe, generally pretty dry up there. But again, what precipitation falls? There will be some precipitation around, of course. And uh, it will be falling as snow. So a white Christmas from many northern, northeastern parts of Europe, definitely. Uh, probably a white Christmas from many parts of Poland and Germany as well, with slightly above average precipitation through there. Uh, Ireland and the UK, it's driest in the north. It gets a little bit uh, wetter more towards western, southwest. There's only particularly wet through Spain and Portugal. Very substantially above average through there. That's because the jet stream is going southwards, of course. Um, I'm getting to Italy, rather unsettled there, around Balkans, also looking a little bit unsettled, but eastern parts of the Med looking rather dry. Right, that is uh, week one done. Week two will take us from the 27th of December to the 3rd of January, and this is how it's looking again. We've got the northern blocking up here, we've got the lower pressure uh, through here, but jet stream may be just coming a little bit further northwards here. Much of northern Europe may still bring in those easterly winds, perhaps. The uh, 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So uh, heights are rising a little bit towards Spain. That's pushing the jet stream 
a bit further north. But still with lots of blocking, it has to be said, around Greenham back into the Arctic. But it does look as though northern and western parts of Europe might be getting milder there into week two. Eastern Europe looks colder, though, as the jet stream is digging down through there. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. So it goes much wider, actually, across most parts of Europe, to be honest. Scandinavia and northeastern Europe, uh, from Denmark northwards, still, still looking cold through there. But most other parts of Europe's flipping over the new year into much milder weather. It's a big change to what the ECM extended was forecasting uh, just a week or so ago, even like a few days ago on Friday. It was looking uh, much colder than this around the new year period. I'm not sure the ECM is performing all that well, either the short range or the long range. I think ECMWF is having a bit of a nightmare at the moment, I will say that. But it does look as though most parts of Europe away from the north going milder than average, so milder weather into Ireland and the UK, most parts of France uh, and Spain, Portugal, mild and average into Germany, mild and average over into the eastern part of Europe in particular, from the Balkans to the Black Sea, looking very mild up there, and even into southwest of Russia, so that is a much milder week being predicted. Uh, they're also wetter as well, uh, low pressure is coming in of the Atlantic, so from Ireland to Western Russia, all of these areas, you know, from from, uh, from Ireland all the way over the rest of Russia, above average rainfall, it's drier in the mad, that's because high pressure is beginning to ridge in from the Azores, so that's turning things drier through the med in some parts of Spain, and still relatively dry across Scandinavia, back to Iceland, Greenland, and that's where the northern blocking is still uh, trying to hang on against the Atlantic on some. some places do look exceptionally wet, it has to be said there. Very unsettled week being predicted. The Balkans looking really wet, but Germany looking really wet. Ireland into UK looks uh, really quite wet as well through there. Right, week three will take us from the 3rd to the 10th of January. What's going on now? So lower pressure out in the Atlantic. High pressure looks like he's trying to get going over Scandinavia. Um, otherwise, I just put in some question marks. It's not overly uh, clear what is going on there. Let's have a look at the week three 500 millibar high time. So that starts to look more anticyclonic with high pressure building through Western Europe, but also pushing northwards as well. Um, so maybe northern and Western Europe uh, turning drier, lower pressure through here. Does look a rather strange anomaly, I have to say. Uh, the temperature anomaly is mild and average across the west of Europe. A big flip here from the ECM uh, to, on this update. Big flip through much of western Europe. It's mild and average islands, UK, France, down to Spain, Portugal, into Germany. Low coast as well. All coming out of above average rainfall. Scandinavia and the far northeast of Europe looking quite cold, as does the far southern part of the uh, Mediterranean. Um, Precipitation-wise, it should be turning drier across the west of Europe, I would have thought. So weakening signals looks relatively dry, uh, particularly towards the Med in Spain and Portugal. So I suspect it's like what we've just been, been through, really. High pressure is probably starting to reach northwards, maybe. Uh, and there might be some high pressure over here, and so the two uh, ridges are trying to get together. Something like that might be going on. West of Europe, East of Europe, that's a little bit more unsettled, but it is a weakening signal. Have got significantly above average rainfall though down in the eastern part of the Mediterranean. Week four will take us from the 10th to 17th of January. High pressure takes over increasingly over Scandinavia. That will start to turn the wind into the east across much of northern Europe. That should bring colder air in uh, across northern uh, Europe and eventually start to push it in towards the west. We have got low pressure down here and uh, also a little bit through there. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. So again, that is showing uh, high pressure between Greenland and Scandinavia reaching down towards the UK. You can expect this to be pulling in cold air from the east across much of northern Europe. Let's have a look at the uh, temperature anomaly. So still relatively mild, actually, uh, in the extreme west. Ireland is still looking quite mild. It is cold through here. It does look as though uh, northern and northeast Europe gets a uh, very cold uh, period of weather. Um, and uh, again, not much of a thing. A little bit on the cool side in the southeast Europe, a little bit milder through there. I reckon based on the mean sea pressure, I mean, we'll probably see that cold air expanding out ultimately. It is a little bit, it is a little bit cold out through Germany, for example. I reckon those east winds will start to expand, expand that cold air, um, you know, into the middle of January, into the west of Europe, probably. 
Right, that's a 30-day uh, update done. That's 30-day look at. Let's just have a look at weeks 5 and 6 data before we go, because why not? So, uh, week 5 going to be the 17th to the 24th of January. High pressure is uh, dominating across much of Northern Europe. That's probably bringing a lot of dry but cold and frosty weather. I would have thought the uh, 500 millibar high time looking quite anticyclonic for much of Northern Europe. Lower pressure is down there. It could be cold and wet in the southeast of Europe. The uh, temperature anomaly looks like that. So, uh, you know, it's a weak signal. It looks uh, mild and average out to the west of uh, Scandinavia and Ireland and the UK. Coldest, obviously, over in the eastern part of uh, Europe. I would have spent most parts of Europe are quite cold and that anticyclone, though it has to be said. And uh, uh, the precipitation only just generally, again, looking uh, dry and average with all that high pressure across the northern parts of Europe. And then finally, week six will be the 24th to the 31st of January. And uh, we look like that, and absolutely no sort of signal whatsoever in that week. So the question marks uh, return. The uh, 500 millibar high time also doesn't show much to go on. Um, maybe the high pressure retreating back into East Europe, which might be a signal for lower pressure and milder weather to come in from off the Atlantic. Temperature normally looks a little bit mild and average just to the southwest of Europe. Otherwise, not much signal. And finally, precipitation anomalies, again, no signal. So that last week of January is very uh, mysterious uh, there on that update. So I think the main takeaway is that ECM has shifted on on, this, on the new year period. So last week, um, ECM was looking cold uh, from much of Northern Europe uh, for the new year. You know, cold and wintry uh, for the new year. I think it shifted quite a lot on that, actually. And New Year now looking a lot milder across much of Europe, away from Scandinavia and the northeast. Anyway, milder and wetter uh, for the new year into early January. It looks like Scandinavian High might come back. Uh, by the middle of January, if it does, then we might have another go of bringing in some cold east winds across much of Northern Europe. Because the coming week, the Christmas period, is going to be cold, particularly so for many Northern and Northeast parts of Europe, where it will be bitterly cold, actually, um, over the Christmas period across much of Northern and Northeast of Europe. Right, that's uh, the last 30-day uh, uh, European outlook uh, for this year. Actually, not only for December, but also uh, this year as well. It will be back in a couple of weeks' time, and uh, we'll be in the beginning of January there, of course. Uh, I may do the, uh, the update on Friday, that's Christmas Eve, so I'm not sure if I will or not, but I might do the update with the ECM extended focusing on the UK and Ireland on Friday, so you might see this one more time. Um, this week, but uh, but yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a, not a break, I'm still going to upload, you know, do, do the 10 to 14 days and whatnot, uh, but just scale things back a little bit, I think, over Christmas, it has been a manic, <laughs> a manic few days and weeks for me, so I'm ready for a little bit, you know, tone things down a little bit over Christmas week, I hope that's okay uh, with everyone. Right, thank you so much for ECMDF.it uh, for supplying these charts throughout this year. That's amazing, and, and that really is um, incredible. We will be back later on uh, with uh, the 23rd Christmas update, and we'll also have 10 to 14 day uh, as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this week's uh, ECM extended uh, 30-day look at the UK and for Europe as well, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.